Well, hi YouTube. Um, actually, we got something to celebrate. Well, I got something to celebrate. Um, my logical analyzer, my mini law analyzer, is finally work working. I mean, I haven't put uh, um, built the drivers, the probes yet, but it is working. This is the board. It's a logical analyzer, and for testing purposes, I connected this analyzer to the PC via USB, and I used this test signal. This is about a uh, symmetrical 100 kilohertz uh, square signal. You can see this right here, right? 100.5 kilohertz. That's uh, generated by this uh, signal generator here. And what I did is rigging the signal to the first channel of the logical analyzer. This is all also where the scope probe is, just for comparison. Well, and this is the PC software. And as you can see, this is the signal of the channel, the first channel that I sampled. It looks symmetrical. Symmetrical. Well, the whole software thing is running in a virtual machine under Windows um, because um, the Linux software doesn't work as expected yet. But I hope that finally I will get this working. I, I just used it this way so I could check out whether it would work at all. Um, this is the. F uh, uh, the frequency decoder, and as you can see, this 100.5 something kilohertz, and this is exactly what the signal is. So um, you see, it's it's the right measurement. So let's vary the signal a little and see what happens. Well, what I can do now is I could change the frequency. I could could also change the, the symmetry of the signal. Right? This is I do this. Well, let me see. I can always look through the camera. So, I changed the signal now. You see? I'm changing the duty cycle. So, let's see what happens if we sample the signal again. I click on Go. Well, wouldn't you know it? And you see that the signal appears to have changed and it's not so symmetrical anymore uh, this is just uh, it's longer on the high side than on the low side and this is this is exactly what we did with the signal lower test signal so so what is such a lo logical analyzer all about yeah it is about uh, measuring it's, it's sort of like a digital scope uh, with some advantage that a scope a digital scope couldn't provide um, it has up to 32 channels. So that's your scope, like this scope, it has only two analog uh, channels. So if you have um, uh, a larger bus or something, it would be very nasty. I mean, it, it would be almost impossible to really d uh, measure this. So, um, you see, you can buy a mixed signal scope like this Tektronix here, right? This is an ad, I guess. Uh, this is a cool scope. It has 16 uh, digital channels as well, but it's, I suppose, if you have 16 digital and 4 analog channels, uh, 100 megahertz scope like this, it will cost you at least 3,000 euros. This would be more than 4,000, um, yeah, it would be more than 4,000 uh, dollars. So this is very expensive, so this is why such a thing isn't very practical at all. Oh. Well, let's check it out. Um, let's vary the signal a little. Uh, ah, no, mm, not a little. Should be a little careful with that. Let's make it symmetrical again, and let's change the frequency. Say, let's make it a little smaller. Well, it's now 64.4 kilohertz. Let's sample it again. What you see, you can um, set up the time base here. It says one microsecond. Um, you can make this 500 nanoseconds, I suppose. Say go. Let's see what's happen happening. So you can zoom in and out. I mean, the Linux program actually you can use the mouse, the, uh, the mouse wheel to scroll in and out. It's a little more comfortable. So let's use this. Um, 
frequency measurement again. Check out whether this is. You, know, you can choose the channel here. They say okay. Let's check out whether this is right. Sixty-four dot four. Wow, wouldn't you know? Wow, it works. <laughs> I mean, this is quite good. I mean, now it finally works. Uh, it was about, I'd say, at least so far, I'd say at least forty to fifty hours of work to get it working. I sold the whole thing myself and had to program the seat building and then stuff and get the documentation and get the parts. Wow, this was, wasn't so such an easy task, but after all. It's working, and this is a very nice project, and I'm convinced that it will be very useful in my work. Well, thanks for watching.